Hello dear students, in this session we are going to explain chapter 18 atomic nucleus for GS and LS sections. By the end of this session you will be able to represent the nucleus by its atomic number Z and its mass number A. Define the atomic mass unit U, define the isotope of an element, explain the concept of binding energy and explain the stability of the nucleus. The nuclide is the set of the atoms characterized by the charge number Z, which is the number of protons, and the mass number A, which is the number of protons and neutrons. We can call them nucleons, and here the atom is represented by X, A, Z, and we can calculate the number of neutrons and equal A minus Z. And for example, the carbon 614 has 6 protons and 8 neutrons and the chlorine 1737 has 17 protons and 20 neutrons. Isotopes are nuclei having the same atomic number Z but different mass numbers A. They are the same elements. For example, isotopes of lithium they have the same atomic number 3, but different mass numbers 6 and 7. And we can take another example, like the hydrogen isotopes, oxygen isotopes. They have the same atomic number, but different mass numbers. We move in this part to the properties of the nucleus, and we start by the particles in the nucleus. The nucleus contains protons and neutrons. The proton is positively charged and its charge is equal to 1.602 times 10 to the power negative 19 coulomb and the neutrons are electrically neutral. The mass of the nucleus. Protons and neutrons have approximately the same mass with the neutron being very slightly heavier than the proton which means mass of the proton is approximately equal to the mass of the neutron is approximately equal to one atomic mass unit U, which is approximately 1.7 times 10 to the power negative 27 kilogram. And here the mass of the nucleus will be given by M equal AU, where A is the mass number and U is the atomic mass unit. And since we have the mass of the electron is negligible compared to that of the nucleon, we can consider that the mass of the atom is approximately equal to that of its nucleus. Let's move now to the radius of the nucleus. Nucleons and nuclei are considered spherical. The radius of a nucleon is given by R0 equal 1.2 times 10 to the power negative 15 meter, which is 1.2 femtometer. And the radius of a nucleus of mass number A is given by the relation R equal R0 times A to the power 1 over 3. Let's move now to the density of the nucleus. And since we know that the volume of a sphere is given by the relation V equal 4 over 3 pi r cubed and we know from the previous slide that R is equal R0 times A to the power 1 over 3 we can write V as 4 over 3 pi R0 cubed times A and let's move to the density of the nucleus where rho equal mass over volume which is AU over 4 over 3 pi R cubed and here we can replace the 4 over 3 pi r cubed by 4 over 3 pi r 0 cubed times a in order to simplify by a. And here we can obtain 3u over 4 pi r 0 cubed. We apply the numbers in order to obtain 2.3 times 10 to the power 17 kilogram per meter cube. And we can realize that this density is very high and it is independent of the mass number A. In this part, let's talk about Einstein's relation. 
the mass energy equivalence which is E equal mc squared where E is the energy in joule m is the mass in kilogram c is the speed of light in vacuum which is 3 times 10 to the power 8 meter per second and don't forget in nuclear physics we can use 3 units for the mass the first one which is the SI unit in kilogram the second the atomic mass unit U and the third is the mega electron volt per C squared such that 1 U is equal 931.5 mega electron volt per C squared now we move to the section of the binding energy and by definition the binding energy is the energy that should be provided to a nucleus at rest in order to break it into its individual nucleons and here we can say that in the nucleus we have a mass difference which means a mass defect delta m and the mass of the nucleus is less than the sum of the masses of its nucleons taken separately we can calculate this mass defect by multiplying the number of protons by the mass of the protons plus the a minus z which is the number of neutrons times the mass of the neutrons minus the mass of the nucleus and here according to Einstein's relation the mass defect is converting into energy which is the binding energy which assures the cohesion and the stability of the nucleus eb equal delta mc squared and once we calculate the binding energy we go to the binding energy per nucleon and it's very important to calculate that value because it determines the stability of the nucleus and we can have it by dividing the eb by the mass number a and if the value of the binding energy per nucleon is greater than 8 mega electron volt per nucleon the nucleus is stable and if we look to the table here the values of the binding energy per nucleon once they are greater than 8 the values of a ranges between 20 and 190 and if ea is less than 8 mega electron volt per nucleon the nucleus is unstable we move finally to the part of interactions within the nucleus and its stability in this part the nucleus is stable when it is not subjected to any spontaneous evolution which modifies its composition it remains always as one entity and we know that the protons are positively charged it means they repel each other tending to break the nucleus while the neutrons do not exert any electrostatic interaction in this way a strong interaction forces attract the nucleons to each other and from this most nuclei having a mass number that ranges between 20 and 190 are stable since they contain more neutrons than protons and the strong interactions are greater than repulsions let's go now to the application exercises exercise one suppose that the earth is a perfect sphere it means it has a radius and a mass m Determine R if we suppose that the density of the Earth is that of the atomic nucleus rho and it is given and the mass of the Earth is given also. Let's solve it. If we know that V equal 4 over 3 pi R cubed and the density is mass over volume, we can say that the volume equal mass over rho. We apply the formula r equal cubic root of 3v over 4 pi we deduce it from here which is a uh, cubic root of 3m over 4 pi rho 
we we replace v by m over rho we apply the number we get approximately 184 meter exercise 2 in this exercise we are going to calculate the radius of the uranium nucleus let's apply the relation which is r equal r0 times a to the power 1 over 3 and r0 is the radius of nucleons which is given 1.2 times 10 to the power negative 15 times a which is 238 to the power 1 over 3 we get 7.4 times 10 to the power negative 15 meter let's continue the exercises consider the nuclei boron carbon and nitrogen we should in the first question indicate the composition of the corresponding nuclei the boron has five protons and seven neutrons the carbon has six protons and six neutrons the nitrogen has seven protons and five neutrons in the second question we should calculate the binding energy per nucleon of the carbon nucleus it is given the mass of the carbon, the mass of the proton, the mass of the neutron, and one new is equal 931.5 mega electron volt per c squared. We should start first by the mass defect, which is the number of protons z times the mass of the proton plus a minus z times the mass of the neutron minus the mass of the carbon. We apply the number 6 times the mass of the proton plus 12 minus 6 the mass of the neutron times 931.5 in order to convert it to mega electron volt per c squared minus the mass of the carbon which is 92.3328 mega electron volt per c squared. And here we go directly to the binding energy per nucleon Ea which is Eb over A. Eb is the binding energy, which is delta mc squared. We divide by A, which is 12. And here, mega electron volt per c squared times c squared. We can simplify the c squared in order to obtain 7.7 .7 mega electron volt per nucleon. And the third question, let's compare the value obtained to 6.7 mega electron volt of boron and to 6.2 mega electron volt of nitrogen and we should conclude this energy is greater than that of boron and than that of nitrogen we can conclude that the carbon is more stable than that of boron and nitrogen at the end of this session we learned that the atomic nucleus is constituted of protons and neutrons. A nucleide is a set of nuclei having the same atomic number and the same mass number. The isotopes of a chemical element are nuclides having the same atomic number but different mass numbers. The radius of the atomic nucleus is given by the relation R equal R0 times A to the power 1 over 3, where R0 is equal 1.2 femtometer, which is the radius of the nucleon. The density of the atomic nucleus is about 2.3 times 10 to the power 17 kilogram per meter cube. The mass defect is given by delta M equal number of protons times mass of protons plus a minus Z times the mass of neutrons altogether minus the mass of the nucleus. The binding energy is the energy that should be provided to a nucleus at rest in order to break it into individual nucleons Eb equal delta mc squared. And finally, the binding energy per nucleon is Ea equal Eb over A.